uh, I appreciate the chance to chat with uh, chat with you. I adore Float. It is such a such a wonderful film. Um, I, I'm a sucker for this type of film, believe it or not, and uh, absolutely loved it. I love that. Thank you so much. I'm so glad that you enjoyed it. Absolutely, it, it is so much fun, and the chemistry between uh, between your leads, between um, now I can't remember their name, Andrea and uh, Robbie. Robbie. Thank you. It's just phenomenal. It's one you need that with this sort of film. You need that great chemistry. Um, mm -hmm. Where did the film come from? So the film is an adaptation for um, a Wattpad property called Float um, by Kate Merchant. And I came along um, because Jeff Chan, who's the producer on the project, reached out to me um, as they had optioned the property for Robbie, for, for Robbie ML. Um, and when I read the book, it was kind of crazy how much I could relate to it. Um, it's about a little girl. I mean, the book is about a 17 year old girl from Alaska who moves to Florida um because her parents are just getting a divorce and they don't know who to take her for the summer um so there's that like complicated relationship with her parents and feeling rejected from her parents and then you know her being from Alaska not knowing how to swim um learning to swim almost drowning and being saved by by Blake um I didn't know how to swim I I mean, I still am pretty uncomfortable in the water, but I love the water. Um, but as an immigrant, I, I, I moved to Canada when I was six years old from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. And I just sort of never got around to swimming lessons. We I did like some here and there, but it wasn't consistent. So I took adult swimming lessons. I also went traveling, um, backpacking and met, you know, a British guy <laughs> and and fell in love and 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 had a relationship with him um so and also a romantic and I wanted to tell a story that was rooted in reality you know that in in the reality that vacation romances can be a thing um but also you know my complicated relationship with my parents and there's just so many things that aligned and I was so grateful to Kate and to Lionsgate and Wattpad to allow me to bring so much of myself to the story. You know, it, it's it's amazing to hear me say that because, or hear, hear me say that. It's amazing to hear you say that because so much of this film feels personal. You can just sort of tell through uh, through a good film. Um, it has It matters to the people that are making it. And you can tell that with this one. Um, I wanted to ask you about this because the relationship, Andrea's character um, and her parents, their relationship is so complicated. And I was wondering for you, from your experience, why do you think it could be such a challenge to connect with our parents? Well, I think it's all so well intentioned. <laughs> um, and, you know, I'm laughing because I'm asking myself that same question. <laughs> um, but for me, you know, a lot of therapy <laughs> has told me that I have to kind of take the reins on this and I have to do the work. And so much of it for me personally is a cultural difference, um, but not only that, a generational difference. And I think that's something that everyone can relate to. I think parent-child relationships are complicated to begin with and yeah. parents always want what's best in their minds for their kids they want stability they want a, as little struggle as possible for their kids so yes. I guess for me like my dad wanted me to be a family doctor <laughs> because he was like oh it's easy you know it's the easiest kind of doctor you can be um you can just be in your office and like refer you know patients to specialists when things get complicated <laughs> I just thought it was really funny um but yeah I think it's also this frustration that they can't see you for who you are and for your interests and for you know what you want out of life 
and that disconnect is hard to reconcile and I think it, it requires a lot of communication and honesty and vulnerability and I hope that people will be more inspired to do all those things <laughs> after seeing float so you know you're absolutely right you know and I love that you say you know, with your with parents it's like what's best for them in their mind because you know I'm a parent my kids are growing up you know we all have an idea of what that should I'm using that in quotes should be um, but it's not necessarily who they are. And one of the things that I think comes out in this film, one of the, that uh, I believe it's Andrea that, that says that, uh, you know, her parents don't really hear her. That's what keeps them from communicating. And I was wondering in your mind, what you think it means to really, how do we know another person, truly know them? whether it's parent yeah. child or or interpersonal or in a relationship what do you think it takes i think it takes a great deal of self awareness and ability to differentiate between your own stuff <laughs> and other people's stuff and are you projecting your own th own stuff to what the other person is saying? Are you able to frame what they're actually saying from their reality versus yours? Mm -hmm. I think re that's really hard to do. I think we can only, I can only see through my own eyes. So I have to really figure out, you know, if I feel a certain way, what's that coming from? Is that coming from my own history and my own kind of way I was wired? Or is it really what the other person is going through? So I don't think it's that easy, actually. <laughs> That's why I'm fascinated by it. And I think connection is a bit of a miracle. Um, but it happens all the time. And I think we're capable of it. And, and you know, even as, as you say that, it just makes me think of Robbie's character, because there are so many times without giving anything away, but even, even towards the end of the film where Robbie can't say things, you know what I'm saying? He's trying to, he's trying to say things. We all know what he's thinking, but he can't say it. Um, there's, and, and yeah, I mean, absolutely. Like this idea of opening yourself up and seeing through another person's lens and, and welcoming that. I think that it's, it's hard for anybody. It's absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. I thank you for noticing that. I think for me, I wanted to tell a story that was really grounded in reality and this idea of a summer romance or vacation, you know, fling, I think it's pretty common. You know, people go away, they have a little fling and then they never talk to the person again. And, you know, I, I fell in love on a trip and I remember meeting other people on my trip being like, how are you still with this person, you know? Um, but I think that requires a lot of honesty about real life circumstances, you know? Yeah. And with any relationship, you all come with a life of your own and you have to find a way to match that with the other person. And... I wanted to tell a love story that was not based on, you know, one person saving another or one person totally changing their life for another person and really confronting the reality of, of what they're both facing and let each character take responsibility for that. And, you know, there's an interesting balance there within the film, because there are moments where you could lose that, but you still let your character struggle, even when they make decisions that are giving them life, you know, and bring opening themselves up. Um, but there's still there's still that sort of who am I and bringing that into the relationship as opposed to just, you know, getting swept off your feet, if you will, there's it's it's well done. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. It, it, the film is such a joy, honestly, Sharon. It's so much. It's such it's so much fun. Uh, I was just wondering from you what you hope people take away from Float. Well, I hope that they um, 
are re-energized in the possibility of love <laughs> I hope they have really a lot of fun watching the beautiful friendships and the the kind of family that's on screen and the landscapes I just want them to have a lot of fun but I want them to walk away with maybe a little bit of courage to be more honest with the people that they love I love that I love that thank you so much for your time I appreciate it congratulations on film and I wish you the best thank you so much thanks have a great day